Hey guys, I wanted to give you a kind of rehash a, a Facebook Live video I did um, this past week. And I realized that you guys here on YouTube uh, probably didn't see that because a lot of you are not connected to me on Facebook. Uh, if you'd like to connect to me on Facebook, there's a link uh, down in the description below. So, uh, it, it has to do with LED video walls. Um, they seem to be more and more commonplace and I, you know, if you subscribe to the trade magazines like Church Production Magazine or Technologies for Worship Magazine like I do, um, you're seeing churches install these LED screens, you know, it's, it seems like everywhere. And I kind of, well, I don't kind of, I have a bone to pick with LED video uh, walls, and that is their, their cost. And, you know, I understand that there are several hands that need to get paid, or several uh, levels in the process of, of buying and installing and, and that kind of thing. However, a recent project that I was bidding out, or, or at least getting bids on, um, I need a five and a half foot tall by 18 foot wide screen. I, you know, that's a very weird aspect ratio. Uh, very, very super wide, but that was the screen size that, that I wanted uh, in that space. And so I started getting bids on LED video walls. and. I knew that they were going to be spendy. I was thinking maybe 40, 50 grand. Um, I knew that out of the three options, LED video walls, LCD uh, TV walls, and projection, that the uh, LED video walls were going to be the most expensive. So I knew that going in. I did not know how expensive. The first bid I got was $391,000. Yeah, six figures. Um, almost half a million, or well, not almost half a million, but the sunny side of half a million dollars, okay? Uh, the second bid I got was around $250,000, $250, uh, and then the, th the third bid I got was right around $100,000, all right? And along with those bids, I got quite an education in uh, kind of the pros and cons of LED, LCD, and projection. One of the big, big issues with LED um, video tiles, I guess we'll call them, is that it is absolutely critical that every module that you get, every video tile that you get, come from the same batch of LEDs. Um, that has to do with matching color, matching brightness, that kind of thing. Um, and generally, when you get a bid for, for a video wall, or for an LED video wall, they will also include tiles, or, or spares in, in that, that come from the same batch of LEDs, so that if a video mod, or an LED module ever goes down, you have a spare that's going to match. The problem is, if you have um, LED modules that have been operating for two years, and you put a brand new, unused video tile in, or module, it may not match either. So I'm kind of looking at this and I'm like, okay, even even at 12 hours a day use, you know, I was getting figures of like 50 year lifespans. The problem is they're going to upgrade this thing well before that ever comes around. So um, I was like, all right, let's look at LCD. TV walls, you know, and these are commercial screens, you know, which last a little bit longer and um, have better quality, that kind of thing. That was going to be about 30 grand. All right. Now, this room is 20 feet by 20 feet by 10 feet. All right. It's not a huge space. I want to, I want a large display because it's, it's going to be a chapel slash teaching space. And the idea is that as a chapel, I wanted to do um, kind of an environmental projection style feel. So, you know, I wanted tranquil scenes, landscapes, um, soft music, sound effects, that kind of thing. I wanted to be a very tranquil environment. And, and I know that uh, AV can help make that even better. So that was kind of the, the mentality I had going in. Then as a teaching space, 
um, we can make it so that you know the sounds go down and when you plug a laptop in you get a picture in picture that kind of thing so yeah I wanted a really fancy system uh, the problem is I cannot justify that kind of money um, even 30 grand for for that room I just can't so and then for projection I was getting I think a hundred inch no 280 inch uh, screens projection screens with laser projectors ultra short throws for like 11 grand okay and I think they want to drop less than 50 grand into remodeling this whole space so that's pretty much right in the ballpark of where I want to be um, now they may decide to go with flat screen TVs which okay that's fine they're the client they can do that but I cannot go to them with you know a hundred thousand dollar proposal uh, for a display solution I mean come on so let me tie this all back into churches upgrading to these things I just don't see the cost benefit now maybe if you're Joel Osteen or you know you've got a 10,000 member church or, or a 6,000 member church okay maybe then I can see it you know because projection does get exponentially more expensive the larger the screen gets nobody's gonna argue with that so you know it's not unheard of that if you've got a 30 foot wide screen let's say and you know the the appropriate size uh, vertical on that I can't do the math in my head right now um, it makes perfect sense that you would need an immense amount, uh, amount of uh, projector brightness um, over that amount of real estate okay and to get that brightness you're either going to be projector stacking you're going to be edge blending but you know you're going to be doing multiple projectors and these are not small projectors and because they're not small projectors they're going to cost a lot of money they're going to be tens of thousands of dollars each and then you've got the lenses on top of that so at that point okay i get it but for small to medium size and and maybe even the smaller um, of the larger churches like if you've got a 2,000 member church 3,000 maybe even 4,000 I would be willing to bet that I could I could beat LED and LCD video walls every single time even with laser projectors every single time and not only that but I could beat it multiple times over meaning that if you got to the point where you had used up say the laser module on a laser projector and you needed to replace the projector like you know let's just say you wanted a higher resolution projector because it's you know six seven years down the road and you just want to upgrade it would still potentially cost you less to replace the projector than it would to make the initial outlay and the service calls for the for the video walls that's the bone that I have to pick and I think that the system integrators and the consultants that are working with these churches that are saying oh let's do video an LED video wall because you know they're they're super bright they last a long time and they draw less power and you know there's all these benefits right well yeah but are the benefits worth you know enormous amounts of money my answer is no it's not I mean if you think about it an 18 foot by five and a half foot tall so 18 foot wide five and a half foot tall screen is gonna cost me let's take the average of you know two hundred and twenty five thousand dollars you get bigger than that and you're gonna be caught your cost is gonna be much much higher than that so I, I'm just scratching my head thinking you know it leads it leads me to a couple different questions one where are the churches coming up with this money you know I I mean are they are they taking loans out because that's never a good idea uh, to do when you're buying equipment you know you never want to finance that stuff 
because by the time you pay it off, you're going to have to take out another loan uh, in order to upgrade it. And then two, the second question is, what is going on with these with these integrators and with these consultants that, you know, from an ethical standpoint, they're okay with selling equipment that churches don't need? Now, you know what happens all the time. I mean, I've I've seen the horror stories. I've, I've seen the pictures on AV install nightmares on Facebook. I've seen it all, okay? I, I know that it happens. Excuse me. I know that it happens. The issue that I have with it is that it shouldn't be happening. It's bad business. It's not right. You know, it's it's charging the end cl- the the end customer an enormous amount of uh, well, an enormous amount more money than they should be paying. So, you know, in, in order to get the image quality, the image brightness and the longevity of the of the equipment that they need. So I I guess the whole point of this video is I want to sh- to spread the message that if you're looking at upgrading your display solution for for your facility um, and you're starting to talk with with people like me, with, uh, you know, like integrators and consultants, um, you're looking at information, you're looking at different equipment, really understand, do the homework, talk to people like me that are more, um, I'm more about the long-term relationship. I am really, really big on good stewardship and, and proper ethical business practices. And, and for me, those those ethics extend to not fleecing my clients. Um, I would I would feel absolutely terrible uh, to find out that I had overcharged a client um, as as badly as as some of these uh, these other guys are. Now I'm, I'm not meaning to badmouth them. I'm just I'm really more questioning why they think it's okay. Because in my opinion, and you know, who am I? I get that, okay? But in my opinion, it is not the right the right solution for probably 80% of the jobs that come across their desk. Now, granted, if they're working with mega churches and super churches and you know really, really large congregations, okay, fine, I, I get that. It doesn't apply to you. But if you're in say a 3,000 or less member church, I would be willing to bet that if you gave me the chance to bid on that, on that solution with a projector and a screen that are properly matched, properly configured, properly installed, I'll beat them at least 70% of the time. Seven times out of 10, I will beat them on price while delivering better than, well, I'll be delivering a wow image. Now, I can't compare, I can't, um, I can't compete with the image that you're going to get from an LED video screen. I can't. But you're also not going to be paying a quarter of a million dollars for it either. So, just bear that in mind. So, if you have questions, uh, leave a comment. Um, I'd be happy to, to talk with you in depth more about this. Uh, if you want to talk on the phone, just uh, shoot me a message through YouTube and we can arrange that. So um, just really understand what you guys are getting for the money that you're outlaying um, because much as I, as I hate to admit it, there are wolves out there, guys. And, you know, if you don't know what, what you're getting and why you're getting it and exactly what your uh, the value that you're going to get, um, I don't know what to tell you. You know, if you're not, if you don't have the time, if you don't have the interest in doing the research, please get in touch with me. Um, I'm, I'm always open to, to giving you another bid on a project. Know what you're getting. Um, do the research. Spend the time. Um, be good stewards. And, you know, please use me as a resource. I, I love helping churches. Um, there's, there's no cost. To, to giving you guys advice and that kind of thing. So if you
you want more information, shoot over to, to the website, tomatosystems.com. Also linked in the description. So, with that, God bless. Have a great weekend. And uh, hope to talk to you guys soon.